what happened in week nine for me in my fantasy league and go ahead and prepare for week number 10 for those few of you out there that uh, are watching this. So if we go back to week nine here, we see what happened to me as we know that I had been 6-0, and lost two in a row. Could I stop the losing streak and go, you know, win again, go 7-2 and rather than losing again, going 6-3? and I had a lot of buys that I had to replace last week, a lot of buy players. And we see that at one point here, it was actually tied up going into the fourth quarter at 78.52 to 78.52. But then what happened in the fourth quarter is the Colts defense here gave up another score, I believe it was, and uh, lost three points. So wound up losing by three points. I was hoping that they would give Trent Richardson the ball or something like that. I wouldn't lose three points, and they'd give Trent Richardson the ball a few more times. And uh, that didn't happen. So I ended up losing again by three points. You'll see that Tom Brady, again, had a good week. LaShawn McCoy, maybe average. Richardson had a, a bad week. A.J. Green, I'd say that's a bad week for him. Uh, Andre Holmes, he he's had some good weeks, but, you know, I put him in there just because he was better than who I had before. Can't even remember who it was. Uh, Zach Hurts had a bad week. I should have played Larry Donald for the Giants, and I would have came away with a win here. Eddie Royal had no points and a 37 to nothing loss. So that hurt me for sure. Uh, Colts defense didn't do that great, and Gutowski again had a good week. So he's gutowski has been a good player for me. His his guy, he overcame a negative point producer from Phillip Rivers with three interceptions and a fumble and only 138 passing yards, minus two points. And he overcame that to come back and, and beat me uh, with strong performances from uh, Morris and the Redskins, the running back, uh, Hillman. And he didn't really have a lot of other points that were big scorers, but he came up with enough points to beat me uh, with all my zeros and twos and, and stuff like that. So another bad week for me, as you can see, I had three players on buys that I had to replace last week. And we're going to go ahead and try to get ready for this week and see if I can stop this losing streak. Uh, keep up at this rate, I won't even be in the playoffs in my league, so we'll see what happens. All right. Go ahead and go to week 10 here. And we'll see that <laughs> right now, I'm scheduled to lose by a mile, uh, 76 to 34. And that is because now I have five guys on buys, including my, including Tom Brady, uh, Richardson, Eddie Royal. And my other quarterback is Tony Romo. We don't even know for sure that he's going to play. So, yeah, this this may suck as well. See what happened today. Romo practiced uh, quarterback is listed as a limited participant. The stage just Carrot hasn't committed to the quarterback playing Sunday's game against the Jaguars, but Dallas Morning News rely, relays that Cowboys owner Jerry Jones believes that Romo will be available. Participating in playing, I have no reason to think he won't. So it looks like, to my uh, disagreement, they're going to play Romo against the Jaguars. I wouldn't do it. I would. They have a bye the week after. I would let the Cowboys rest Tony Romo from that injury he took against the Redskins and let him rest for three weeks and wouldn't not even play him. But after the horrible performance by Brandon Whedon last week, I can see why the Cowboys are doing it, but I still don't think it's worth it. So, you know, I guess we're just going to go ahead and put Romo in and hope he has a good week and going in there, you know, at 60% or whatever he's at. But I've got to replace all these guys with buys this week. I'm just, yeah, this is going to, this is going to be hard. So I'll let you go ahead and try to, Come along with me for the ride here. <laughs> All right. And I'm only going up against a team that's only three and six, so you'd think that I'd be able to pull out a win this week, but who knows, you know? You never know with fantasy. All right, so let's go ahead and put Romo in right now so I don't have to go there and try to draft somebody else. If I have to, then I'll have to go draft somebody else uh, come Saturday if they have an idea. You know, or before Sunday's game, Sunday morning. But 
if it looks like Romo is not going to play. Sean McCoy will play Trent Richardson. I don't even know if I have a guy to replace him. And I don't. It doesn't look like I have anybody on the bench. I have two wide receivers, so I can get Eddie Royal replaced with Golden Tate, who comes off a bye. Julio Jones can come up here and replace somebody. He will replace Andre Holmes. Okay. I'm getting somewhere now. Now we only have one more buy, I think. Yeah, we only have one more buy. That's Trent Richardson. We need a backup running back, which I don't have. Oh, we need to replace the Indianapolis Colts, and we'll go ahead and do that with the Lions defense, who have been pretty good for me this year. I'm going to leave Gutowski. Well, I can't leave him in because he's got a buy. So Shane Graham will come in for the Saints. And that might be good because the Saints actually scored a lot of points last week, I believe. And, and uh, Graham did anyway, I think. Let me take a look. No, he only scored four points last week. But he's projected to score ten this week. So uh, probably not the best kicker, but hopefully it'll be good enough. Um, I already have to go out and get another running back so to to replace Trent Richardson. So let's go ahead and do that here. Players. Let's go ahead and submit this. The players have already swapped. Players. Uh, should I pick up Terrence West again? Let's go ahead and check it out the whole season. See how many. And go to running backs. Yeah, not a whole lot of good guys here. Um, guess I could pick up Terrence West again. I had him once before. Let's see what he's projected to get. He's a projected to get... He had 11 points last week, but they projected him to get point three this week. Huh. That's weird. Yeah, see, there's... I had Anton Smith before, too, and, and I don't know why they projected him to get nine points this week, but... Maybe I'll go ahead and just pick him up. Darren McFadden, Roy Hallou. There's just not a lot of good guys here to choose from, to be honest. They predict Jonathan Stewart to get 11 points. I have no idea why. I doubt that. Who are they playing? Uh, Monday, Philadelphia. Should I trust him over get, picking up Bobby Rainey? Who's this? Only projected to get two points. Yeah, I usually don't go with the projections, but I'm not watching a lot of these NFL games to be honest, so I don't know who's really doing who's really doing well and who's not. But I think I'll just go ahead and Nile Davis for Kansas City. He's only predicted to get two. Who was it here that's projected to get nine. I guess I'll pick up Anton Smith again and see who I want to replace him with. Probably just get rid of the Colts defense here because I just picked them up last week to sub in for my Lions defense. So I'll do that. And now we'll go ahead and take Eddie Royal. Could be somebody I could get rid of too. But Go ahead and swap him out for Trent Richardson. Submit that. We'll go back and see if we are at least projected to get a win this week, but who knows. Well, now by the projections, we're predicted to win by a pretty good margin, 112 to 76, and he's got all his guys replaced. So, including a guy starting tonight. I'm surprised that, oh, A.J. Green, I, I didn't put him in today. I was going to say, I'm surprised to let me do that with the game already started. That game's already going into the first quarter because this is Thursday night. So we'll see what happens, see if I can stop this losing streak. I started 6-0, and and now I'm 6-3. and And uh, just to get an idea of how my league's doing, we have a guy here, T-Money, who beat me 8-1 and one, and then 7-2. and two. So I'm coming in third in my league right now at 6-3. and three. All right, guys, that's been uh, my weekly fantasy football update. 
we'll see if I can stop this losing streak. Uh, be sure you put in the comments below what do you think is going on, and you know what what do you think? Can I stop the losing streak? And I'll see you guys here again next week. Thanks so much. This has been Zach Sternin.